You know what really stinks? Thinking that you scored a great deal on something, only to find out someone else paid even less. But it happens more and more because online retailers are using data to change prices on the fly for individual customers. It's called dynamic pricing, and it's designed to maximize company profits. Jimmy Rhodes found ways to fight back and beat retailers at their own game, and that's at the top of the list. Even if you don't know the term, you know dynamic pricing. Think about airline tickets. You can often be sitting next to somebody and they will have paid a completely different price than you. Depending on when and how they book, but it's not just travel, it's everything. So Consumer Reports' Toby Stanger rounded up some dynamic pricing hacks. There are things you can try to get your power back in the dynamic pricing game. For starters, when you find an item you like, add it to your cart, then abandon it. Keep it in your cart for a little while and you might get a prompt a day or so later that says, hey, we've lowered the price on this or that. Because they want to close the deal. Next, try changing the zip code in your shipping address because certain parts of the country are priced differently. Some retailers match the prices at their nearest brick and mortar store. So if you live in the sticks, you might get gouged. But if there's a location down the block, there was more of an opportunity that they could go into the store. So they priced it better, more competitively. So checking the zip codes of family and friends can make sense for the right kind of item. If you have, say, a watch that you want to buy and it's pretty costly and it wouldn't be that much to ship, Try having somebody in another zip code order it and see if there's a difference in price. Next, set up price alerts. Price alerts are easy and free, and it's a great way to just see how the dynamic pricing works in your favor. So sign up at price alert websites or install browser extensions. You can go to camelcamelcamel.com, joinhoney.com, and they will tell you about price changes. Finally, Crumble your cookies, those small pieces of code left by websites to track your online browsing habits. Consumer Reports tested the effect of cookies on travel shopping. We found huge differences in pricing, almost $300 for the same ticket, for the same itinerary, shopped at for the same time, depending on whether people had the cookies or didn't have the cookies. The price benefit can come from either having or not having cookies enabled, so try it both ways. Look for keywords like clear history or clear browsing data in your browser's settings. Look, it's an AI world, so prepare to battle robots designed to maximize corporate profits. Dynamic pricing is here to stay, so you may have to play this game a little bit more. Defeating dynamic pricing is at the top of the list.